Yeah, sometimes uh, as uh, end users, uh, they will receive one invoice, but all these should be capitalized individually. This is for record purpose. So you may receive one invoice for uh, you, 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 the, the asset is actually 1,000, but you buy 10 assets. So how the users are going to create the master data and information for all these 10 assets. So they are going to create individually or they, is there any option in SAP which can uh, really create multiple assets on, on falling on the same criteria in, at, at one go. So I'm going to show that now. So to do that, same transaction, there's no difference. You can go A01. And then I'm using the furniture. So here, the, the, the similar assets. So when it comes to the similar assets, so the option of the similar asset. So, so in this um, session, yeah, you can really see how many number of as similar assets you want to create. So the assets can be 10 or 20 or, or, or those cases, yes, you can create let's say 999 so you can create 9999 similar assets so we are not going to create all I just uh, for testing purpose yeah I would like to create uh, nine similar assets so let's say each asset cost or I just create only three similar assets yeah then click uh, enter so I enter three so furniture Chair. So chairs, I'm just created, then I will enter all the information, cost center, and yeah, so I don't have any other information here, so I'm not going to enter. So capitalize it, uh, sorry, ordinary depreciation is actually start on from this date. So now I click on save. You see what will happen. So when you create only one asset, it is not exactly creating a, a like after you enter. When I click on save, it's not really um, uh, showing this pop up window. Yeah. You know? So what happened here? So you are creating three similar asset master records. You can choose. To keep all these assets, all of these assets the same except for their asset number, or you can choose to also maintain your own entries in set 10 fields. If you choose, create your assets or all the same, you choose maintain. Okay so create assets are all the same if those maintain you can maintain individual entry so here i'm not going to update anything other than um, um, the, the, the description or actually i just create means all information will be the same across all the asset system is creating so for for this purpose i'm just click on creating so you see now the message what the system is showing here is you can see so if you see this message here how many assets it's created 3001 3002 and 3003 so the sub number is always a zero so we are created only here if you see three assets so all the information is actually same there's no difference about the master data information so here i would like to display the asset after creation you can see as03 if i click on display here so what happens the if you see this is a asset number and this is a sub number 
sub number is always across the, all the assets is same all these information is what the system is showing is showing all the information here is is same in the description if you see the description is not changed yeah if you notice here so so the description across all these assets where we created similar assets is is all same if you see yeah so you can see the description is not changed and the number is a different so now in the in, this is how the similar assets will be created using the same transaction code for creating assets thank you in the next session i would like to show you how to maintain a different description keep watching my videos thank you